Hi there, and welcome to the Hutchinson Art Center's online art camp. My name is Hannah Beam, and I'm your instructor. Today we're talking about where do you make art? Maybe you make art at home. Maybe you make it at school. Do you go to a friend's or a family member's house to make art? Sometimes you can even go to an art business and make art, such as a place that hosts paint parties or other kinds of guided art experiences. Sometimes you can even come to the art center to make art. A lot of times, artists will make public art. This is art that is seen and enjoyed by the entire community because it's just where anybody could find it. Examples of this are sculptures or murals or street art. There's lots of different kinds of public art. You've probably seen some public art in Hutchinson. If you noticed this last year, all the different hearts that were popping up around town, that was um, part of Spread the Love Hutch. And that's an example of public art. Brady Scott is another local muralist who has several murals around town. And you can also go down Main Street and see all the beautiful sculptures that we have downtown. So today, with public art in mind, we are going to at least practice making public art, and then you might even get to make some yourself. So what we're going to do is chalk art. So when you make public art, one of the most important things you need to do is get permission. If you make art in front of your house on the sidewalk, you're already making public art. And that's a place where you probably already have permission to make art in front of your house because it's your house. But if you want to make art somewhere else, maybe in front of a business or anywhere else, you have to ask for permission first, which is no big deal at all. It's super easy to ask for permission and because there are so many nice people here in town, and I'm sure they would love to have some of your art in front of their business. So make sure that you have permission. And the next thing that you should do, it's always good to have a plan. If you're going to make art somewhere, and you're gonna ask somebody for permission, it's nice to show them what you might wanna make. So that's kind of the project today. I have three examples that I made. I used construction paper and these chalk pastels to make some samples of possible chalk art that I could make on a sidewalk. So I have this one of a paintbrush and some paint splatters that I thought was kind of fun. This one says, Art Matters, has lots of colors, bubble letters. And this one, I just did some pretty plants because I really like plants. So I made all of these with the Art Center in mind because I knew that I would be doing my public art in front of the Art Center. Did you know that you already have permission to make art on the sidewalk in front of the Hutchinson Art Center? They would love to see your art in front of the art center. So that's definitely an option if you want to make public art somewhere other than at your house. Just make sure you put it on the sidewalk and nowhere else besides the sidewalk. That's an important part of getting permission is knowing exactly where you also have permission to do the art, which in this case at the art center is on the sidewalk. So you can work up to make a plan with chalk pastels on construction paper. And you can draw anything you want. If you're going to make art for the Art Center, you can make it art themed or you can just do something that you like that's really pretty. If you're going to make art somewhere else, you can think about the theme of the place that you're going to work, but you can always just make what you like too. So we're going to make one of these chalk murals on the sidewalk in front of the Hutchinson Art Center today. We're going to go double check and ask for permission first, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So we're getting ready to do our public chalk art, but we have to ask for permission first. So, hey Jace, can you come over here? Hi Anna. Hi Jace. This is the lady in charge of the Hutchinson Art Center. Hi, my name is Jacelyn Chambers. I'm the managing director here. It's nice to meet all of you. So, I was wondering if I could make a piece with chalk on the sidewalk out front of the art center. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, I have these designs that I made. Um, if you want to choose from them, so I have kind of, this is just kind of what I put together. You know, these all look really great. Thanks. Um, what about this one? 
I like this one too. It's probably my favorite. I love plants. So. Very cool. All right. Is there anything I should know about before I make my public art in front of there? Any rules or anything? As long as it's made with chalk or other washable materials, you know, it has to come off in the rain. Nothing on the building, just on the sidewalk outside. Okay. And then, um, of course, it has to be family friendly. We never know who will be visiting, but we want right. it to be art that's friendly to everyone. Sounds good. Thank you for choosing to put some art outside. I'm excited yeah. to see it. I'm excited too. I'll go get started on it. All right. Thank All you. All right. See ya. All right. So we are here outside of the Hutchinson Art Center, and we have this beautiful square that we're going to make our public community chalk art on. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So I have my plan here that I made earlier, and I'm going to add HAC on it for Hutchinson Art Center. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on my design here.
So when you're making a chalk art piece on the sidewalk, remember that you can use lots of multiple colors and you can blend them together. I used my hands for this, but it wasn't necessarily the best choice. Your hands work in a pinch, but it's better to use something like a paper towel or an old sponge or something like that to blend the colors so you don't get your hands all kind of raw and broken up from, from the sidewalk. So be really careful if you do end up using your hands to blend, but go ahead and use lots of colors and layer them on there. Um, yeah. Sometimes when you're making public art, people will stop and watch you or maybe they'll ask questions. And that's another fun way that public art really engages the community. Not only because people, lots of people will see your art, but also people will see you making the art, which is another part of the fun. All right. It was so much fun to make that art on the sidewalk in front of the Hutchinson Art Center today. I hope you get a chance to make some public art for yourself as well. But again, if you don't have a place to make your public art, or maybe if it's a rainy day, remember you can always practice with your chalk pastels and make a plan on construction paper because even this is a very fun piece of art to make and have as well. I hope you have fun creating today.